What's up guys, my name is Chris and in today's video I'm going to give you a price breakdown of my recent trip to Belize. I spent 5 days there in both Key Corca and Placencia. So I didn't do everything that there is to do in Belize but hopefully this video will give you a rough idea of how much you might be spending if you were to travel to Belize. So I'm going to cover my accommodation costs, food, transport and also the boat tours which is one of the main things to do. So first I spent um, three days in Key Corca. We stayed at a hostel called the Club at Key Corca. It cost $22 for a double bed. For a single bed I think it would have cost about $15 per person. But yeah, for $22 between me and my wife, $11 each, it was definitely worth it. It also had a swimming pool, very simple breakfast as well, and it was right on the seafront. I did check for the hotel prices on Key Corca and it was roughly around like, I was seeing prices around like 40 to $60 for three star hotels. So that was about the price on, on Key Corca. In Placencia, I stayed in a hotel called Serenade Hotel. There was no breakfast included, but it cost um, $60. I did find the prices to be a bit, a bit more expensive in uh, Placencia than on Key Corca. And I did only see one hostel price and I think it was uh, $20 per person. So yeah, the accommodation in Placencia did seem a bit more expensive, but that was more or less the prices of accommodation that I saw anyway. Second, I will cover the food costs. So normally um, breakfast was costing roughly from anywhere between like $4 to seven US dollars for a pretty, pretty good size breakfast, but that was a, a more or less the price. The prices didn't seem to differ from Key Cork and Placencia. It was all, always roughly around four to seven dollars. And um, for dinner, it was usually around 10 to 15 US dollars for, uh, once again, a really good size meal with a drink, anywhere from 10 to 15 dollars, and that was in both locations, so that's what I was paying. For the boat tours, which is probably the main attraction in, yeah, in, in Belize, obviously you, you might know it has the Belize Barrier Reef, which is the second largest reef in, in the world behind Australia's. So from Key Corca, we got we did a boat tour that was 65 US dollars. I think it was about probably around four hours. The boat tour, the reef's very close, so it's not far to get there. But um, it's a it's a must do. You'll be able to see the sharks, stingrays, turtles, just all sorts of stuff. And the reef looks pretty amazing. A great snorkeling experience. So that was 65 US dollars, and it seemed like it didn't matter which. Uh, like tour group that I did it with that was around yeah roughly around the price in Placencia I did another boat tour Placencia has a lot of other keys loads of little islands that you can travel to so I did one with a local fisherman called Chino and it was 85 US dollars so it was more expensive but there was food included we went to three different islands and that might have been the best day on the entire trip because um, yeah some of the islands were just just amazing I will be showing you now but the the crazy thing is in Placencia the majority of the boat tour companies the the boat tours were for like 120 to 140 US dollars so really expensive I got it cheap because um, yeah I did it with like a local fisherman so but it was still $85 I don't have the detail his contact details but if you go to the hotel that I stayed in Serenade Hotel and ask them they'll be able to pass you the details Okay, and finally, so for transport, when, when you first arrive in Belize City, if that's the way you get in there by plane, pretty much to go anywhere by taxi is automatically 25 US dollars. Uh, I think that's just like a taxi union that they have, so you can't get out of the airport for anything cheaper than that. And even going back into the airport by taxi, it's going to cost you 25 US dollars. That was between me and my wife. So what we tried to do though, we saw another couple there. So we tried to join with them, but then they noticed and then they charged us 35 for a group of four. But obviously that was better than us paying 25 between the two of us, split in 35 between four. So that's what we did. And that was a taxi from the airport to the ferry where we'd be going to Key Corca. Now from the ferry to Key Corca, it was 10 US dollars per person, just one way. 
So yeah, $10 there and then $10 when we came back and that was pretty much just the, the fixed price for everyone to get there. On Kikaka, you, you may not know, but the, there's no cars on the island, so the only way to get around is pretty much by bike or there's these golf buggies. I never got the golf buggy or golf cart, so I don't know the price of that, but the, the bike, I got one for seven US dollars for the whole day. So that, that was a, definitely a great way to get around quickly. It's a very small island though, you can actually just get around walking. You don't, you don't need an, either a bike or a golf cart really, so if you want to save money, yeah, just walk. It's very, very small like I said. And then the only, the only other transport I got was from Belize City down to, down to Placencia, down south. It was about um, a three to four hour bus ride. The bus had no air conditioning, so it was like really hot. But luckily the, the driver was going like 5,000 mile per hour, so that really cooled, cooled the bus down because everybody had the windows open because he was going so fast. And that cost um, 10 US dollars per person, but that was only to go to a place called Independence. And then from Independence, we had to get like a little ferry called the Hokey Pokey Ferry from, from Independence to Placencia and that cost five US dollars per person. So overall it was 15 US dollars per person to get from Belize City to Placencia. And they told me that was the quickest way to get to Placencia and the easiest way. So yeah, 15 US dollars. So that's pretty much it. That, that was basically my expenses during, during my trip. It was a great place to go, like super relaxing vacation. And yeah, there's quite, quite a lot to do there. Just, just really relaxing though, like I said, but you can still do a lot of activities if you want. And hopefully this, um, this video give you a good idea of how much you might be spending if you're visiting there. And if you're interested in seeing some of those activities in more detail, I will link a playlist at the end of the video that shows each day that I spent in Belize and then you'll be able to see the day properly and the activities and yeah, decide if, if you want to do that. So as always, drop this video a like, subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this and I'll see you in the next video.